Welcome to question 8 part A. Now we have our formula and in part A all we've got to do is say that when d equals 10 and t equals 5 this will tell us if we substitute these two values into the formula here it will tell us that uh, how much of the drug is in the bloodstream after five hours when we've given a dose of 10 milligrams. So x will equal 10 multiplied by e to the minus 1 eighth times 5. Okay? If we use a calculator to work that out, should get 5.3526 and so on. And we've got to give this to three decimal places and that comes to 5.353, don't forget the units, milligrams to 3 dp, three decimal places. Okay, now we move on to part B. Now in part B this is a little trickier, okay, so what you've got to do here now is that after our second dose is given, okay, that, that one hour after our second dose is given, that is a total of six hours now have elapsed that the amount of the drug in the bloodstream given by X is going to be that six hours have passed, okay, when we did the first dose, so the amount from that will be 10 times e to the power negative 1 eighth times 6. Okay, that's the amount of the drug in the bloodstream from the first dose, and we now have another amount added to this from the second dose, and that's been in the bloodstream for one hour, so that will be. 10 times e to the power minus 1 eighth and that will be multiplied by the t value which would be 1. Okay? So if we use the calculator again to work this out, okay, what we get is that x equals 13.5486 and so on and again rounding this to three decimal places you should get 13.549 milligrams to 3 dp. Okay, now for part C, now in part C, okay, we've got to look at the total amount of the drug in the bloodstream T hours after the second dose is given. So we're going to have a certain amount of the drug in the bloodstream from the first dose and I'm going to look at the amount in the bloodstream after the second dose is given. Now the amount in the bloodstream first of all from the first dose will be 10 times e to the power minus 1 eighth Okay, now it's been going five hours, so there's going to be five hours um, put in here, and then there's going to be an additional t hours after that five hours. Okay, so we'll put five plus t. So that's the amount in the bloodstream from the first dose. Okay, t hours after we give the second dose. Okay. Then I'm going to add the amount in the bloodstream from this second dose, okay, which has now been administered for t hours. So that would be 10 e to the power minus 1 eighth to the power t. Okay? And this will total apparently 3 milligrams. So we'll put that equal to 3. Okay, now we've got to solve this then for t. It looks quite complicated at the moment, but what I can see here is that it will be worth our while multiplying this bracket out up here. So therefore we have 10e 
to the power minus 1 eighth times 5, so that's e to the power minus 5 eighths. And if I multiply minus 1 eighth with the plus t, that's going to be minus 1 eighth t. But because we're adding the powers, that's the same as multiplying by e to the power minus 1 eighth t. So put that in there. And then we've got our second term, and that's going to be plus 10e to the power minus 1 eighth t. And all this equals 3. So hopefully what you notice now is that I've got a common factor in these two terms. It is 10e to the power minus 1 eighth t. So if I factorise this, I'm going to take 10e to the power minus 1 eighth t out the front of a bracket and inside would go e to the minus 5 eighths so put that there, e to the power minus 5 eighths plus and then when I come to the second term here all I need is just plus 1 and that equals 3 Next, I'm going to divide both sides by the 10 and everything you see in this bracket. So that would leave me with e to the minus 1 eighth to the power, sorry, e to the power minus 1 eighth t equaling 3 all divided by 10 bracket e to the minus 5 eighths plus 1. Okay, let's just make that division a little bit longer there. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take natural logs to both sides and if I take the natural log of e to the minus 1 eighth t that's just going to give me minus 1 eighth t and take the natural log of the other side natural log and I'll put a square bracket here, I think, of 3 all over 10 bracket e to the minus 5 eighths plus 1 and square off that bracket. Let's get rid of that. OK. Now all I need to do to get t is to multiply both sides by negative 8 and that will give me t equals negative 8 times the natural log then of all of this answer in the square brackets. So that would be 3 all over okay, 10 multiplied by e to the minus 5 eighths plus 1. Okay. Then if I get on the calculator what we have is t equals and it turns out to be 13.061 and so on and rounding this to say one decimal place that will just give that t equals 13.1 um, hours sorry hours to one decimal place 1 dp okay so Hopefully you've understood that. Quite a tricky problem that, but uh, nonetheless uh, a good one to uh, have under your belt. Okay, so that brings us to the end now of question 8.